Delchev was a revolutionary and key figure in the struggle for Macedonian independence from the Ottoman Empire in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He was born in the town of Kukush, present-day Kilkis in northern Greece, which was part of the Ottoman Empire at the time. Delchev became involved in revolutionary activities at a young age, joining the Internal Macedonian Revolutionary Organization, a secret revolutionary society dedicated to the liberation of Macedonia and the establishment of an independent Macedonian state. He played a significant role in organizing and coordinating resistance against Ottoman rule. Delchev emphasized the idea of a united and autonomous Macedonia, free from the influence of neighboring countries. He believed in the cooperation of people from different ethnic and religious backgrounds in the region to achieve common goals. Unfortunately, Delchev's life was cut short in 1903, when he was killed in a skirmish with Ottoman forces in the mountains near Benitsa. Despite his death, his legacy lived on, and he became a symbol of the struggle for Macedonian independence. Delchev is remembered as a national hero in North Macedonia, and his contributions to the independence movement are celebrated in the country's history and culture. Delchev advocated for the autonomy of Macedonia rather than outright independence. His vision was centered on the idea of creating an autonomous Macedonian state within a Balkan federation, free from the control and influence of larger neighboring powers. Delchev believed in the cooperation of people from different ethnic and religious backgrounds in the region to work towards common goals. His emphasis on autonomy rather than full independence was strategic, considering the complex ethnic and political landscape of the Balkans at the time. Delchev envisioned a Macedonia that could maintain its distinct identity and self-governance while cooperating with other Balkan states. It's important to note that the political landscape and aspirations in the region were complex, and different individuals and groups within the broader Macedonian liberation movement had varying views on the ultimate goal, whether autonomy, independence, or affiliation with other states. The movement itself evolved over time, and different factions within it had different visions for the future of Macedonia. The question of Gatse Delchev's ethnic identity has been a matter of historical debate and interpretation. Delchev himself identified as a Macedonian, and his efforts were directed towards the autonomy and liberation of Macedonia from Ottoman rule. However, the broader context of the region and the political dynamics of the time make it a complex issue. At the turn of the 20th century, the concept of a distinct Macedonian national identity was still in the process of development. The region was characterized by a diverse population, including Macedonians, Bulgarians, Greeks, Serbs, and others. National identities were often fluid, and individuals might identify with regional, religious, or broader ethnic affiliations. While Delchev is regarded as a key figure in the Macedonian liberation movement, some argue that his activities were part of a broader struggle for the rights and autonomy of the local population, which included people who might identify as Macedonian or Bulgarian. In contemporary perspectives, Delchev is often celebrated as a national hero in North Macedonia, and his legacy is part of the country's historical narrative. However, in neighboring Bulgaria, some also view him as part of their historical and cultural heritage. The complex historical and political context of the time makes it challenging to assign a single, definitive ethnic identity to figures like Delchev. Delchev self-identified as a Macedonian. In his writings and correspondence, he expressed a strong attachment to the Macedonian region and its people. His focus was on the autonomy and liberation of Macedonia from Ottoman rule, and he envisioned a united and autonomous Macedonia that transcended specific ethnic or national affiliations. It's important to recognize that during Delchev's time, the concept of a distinct Macedonian national identity was still evolving, and political dynamics in the region were complex. 
While Delchev identified as Macedonian, the region also had a diverse population with various ethnic, religious, and linguistic affiliations. The question of historical figures' identities, especially in regions with complex histories like the Balkans, can be sensitive and subject to interpretation. However, based on available historical records, Delchev himself identified as Macedonian. The status of Delchev as a national hero in both Macedonia and Bulgaria reflects the complex historical and cultural ties between these two neighboring countries. The reasons for his recognition as a national hero in both places includes shared history. The historical region of Macedonia has been a crossroads of various cultures and civilizations throughout history. The people of the region share a long and intertwined history, and figures like Delchev were active during a time when the concept of a distinct Macedonian national identity was still developing. Anti-Ottoman Struggle Delchev played a crucial role in the struggle against Ottoman rule in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. His efforts were part of a broader movement for the liberation of Macedonia from Ottoman control, and individuals from different ethnic backgrounds were involved in this anti-Ottoman struggle. Cultural and Linguistic Ties Macedonian and Bulgarian cultures share linguistic and cultural similarities, and there are historical ties between the two. The question of identity in the region is complex, and individuals like Delchev, who identified as Macedonian, were still part of a broader cultural and linguistic context that included elements shared with Bulgaria. Recognition of Contribution Delchev is remembered for his dedication to the cause of autonomy for Macedonia and his efforts to unite people from different ethnic and religious backgrounds in the region. His vision of autonomy and cooperation has resonated with people in both Macedonia and Bulgaria. It's worth noting that the historical and political context is complex, and interpretations of figures like him can vary. While he is celebrated in both countries, the ways in which he is remembered and the emphasis on his identity may differ due to the evolving nature of national identities and historical narratives in the region. Delchev's role in the shared history between North Macedonia and Bulgaria is primarily connected to the late 19th and early 20th centuries, a period marked by the struggle against Ottoman rule in the region of Macedonia. Here are some key points about Delchev's contributions to the shared history. 1. Anti-Ottoman Activism Delchev was a key figure in the internal Macedonian Revolutionary Organization, a revolutionary group formed to resist Ottoman rule in Macedonia. The organization sought to establish an autonomous and united Macedonia, free from Ottoman control. 2. Multi-ethnic collaboration Delchev's vision was inclusive, emphasizing cooperation among people of different ethnic and religious backgrounds in the region. This collaborative approach was intended to create a united front against the common enemy, the Ottoman Empire, and to work toward the autonomy of Macedonia. 3. Advocacy for Autonomy Delchev did not advocate for the incorporation of Macedonia into Bulgaria or any other neighboring state. Instead, he aimed for the creation of an autonomous Macedonian state. His emphasis on autonomy rather than outright independence was strategic, as it sought to navigate the diverse ethnic and religious composition of the region. 4. Educational and Cultural Contributions Delchev recognized the importance of education and culture in fostering a distinct Macedonian identity. He supported initiatives to develop Macedonian language schools and cultural institutions, contributing to the preservation of local identity. 5. Death and Legacy Delchev's life was tragically cut short when he was killed in a skirmish with Ottoman forces in 1903. Despite his death, his legacy continued to inspire the Macedonian liberation movement. His ideas on autonomy, multi-ethnic collaboration, and cultural preservation left a lasting impact on the region. 
6. Interpretations and Perspectives The interpretation of Delchev's legacy can vary between North Macedonia and Bulgaria due to differing national narratives. In North Macedonia, he is often celebrated as a national hero, while in Bulgaria, some also view him as part of the broader struggle for Bulgarian independence. Overall, Delchev's contributions reflect the complex historical dynamics of the region, where different ethnic groups coexisted and participated in a common struggle against Ottoman rule, even as the question of national identity continued to evolve. The shared history during this period has left a lasting impact on the relationship between Macedonia and Bulgaria. Delchev recognized the importance of education and cultural development as key components in fostering a distinct Macedonian identity. His support for initiatives to develop Macedonian language schools and cultural institutions was part of a broader effort to strengthen the identity and autonomy of the Macedonian people. Here are some ways in which he contributed to these initiatives. 1. Advocacy for Education in the Macedonian Language Delchev understood that language plays a crucial role in preserving and promoting cultural identity. He advocated for the establishment of schools where the Macedonian language would be the medium of instruction. This was a significant step in asserting the distinctiveness of the Macedonian identity. 2. Promotion of Cultural Activities Delchev supported cultural activities that celebrated Macedonian traditions, history, and customs. By endorsing and participating in cultural events, he aimed to instill a sense of pride and unity among the Macedonian people. This included supporting cultural initiatives that showcased the unique aspects of Macedonian heritage. 3. Encouragement of Local Literature and Publications Delchev encouraged the development of Macedonian literature and publications. The promotion of literature in the Macedonian language was a means of preserving and disseminating the cultural and historical aspects of the region. Local publications played a role in shaping and defining Macedonian cultural identity. 4. Cultural Networking Delchev recognized the importance of networking among cultural and educational institutions. By facilitating collaboration and communication among various cultural and educational entities, he sought to create a cohesive cultural movement that would strengthen the Macedonian identity. 5. Focus on Autonomy Delchev's emphasis on autonomy extended beyond political and military considerations. He believed that cultural autonomy, including control over educational institutions and cultural practices, was essential for the preservation of the Macedonian identity. This aligns with his broader vision of a united and autonomous Macedonia. It's important to note that Delchev's contributions to cultural and educational initiatives were part of a larger context of the struggle for Macedonian autonomy. His efforts in these areas were aimed at creating a foundation for a distinct Macedonian identity within the diverse cultural landscape of the region. The initiatives he supported laid the groundwork for the development of a Macedonian cultural and educational infrastructure that continued to evolve after his death. The information provided about Delchev's support for the development of Macedonian language schools and cultural institutions is based on historical accounts and scholarly sources that discuss the life and contributions of Delchev. These sources include works by historians, biographers, and scholars who have researched the history of the Macedonian liberation movement, the internal Macedonian revolutionary organization, and the broader historical context of the late 19th and early 20th centuries in the Balkans. Some notable sources on this topic include 1. Academic Studies Various academic studies and historical analyses of the Macedonian liberation movement provide insights into Delchev's role and his contributions to cultural and educational initiatives. 
These studies often draw on primary sources, archival materials, and historical documents. 2. Biographies Biographies of Delchev, written by historians and scholars, offer in-depth examinations of his life, activities, and ideological perspectives. These biographies often explore Delchev's support for cultural and educational initiatives as part of his broader vision for Macedonia. 3. Primary documents, letters, writings, and documents attributed to Delchev himself, as well as contemporaneous materials from the period, are important primary sources. These documents provide direct insights into Delchev's thoughts, goals, and actions. 4. Historical archives. Archives containing materials from the time period, such as records of IMRO and other relevant organizations, contribute to our understanding of the historical context and the specific initiatives undertaken by individuals like Delchev. It's important to note that historical interpretations may vary, and perspectives on figures like Delchev can be subject to debate. The information provided here is based on a general understanding of the historical narrative surrounding Delchev and may not capture the nuances of every historical interpretation. Readers interested in a more detailed understanding are encouraged to consult academic works and primary sources on the subject. The consideration of Delchev as part of Bulgaria's historical and cultural heritage is rooted in several factors, primarily connected to the historical and political dynamics of the region. While Delchev identified as Macedonian and played a significant role in the Macedonian liberation movement, his recognition in Bulgaria is influenced by the following factors. 1. Common struggle against Ottoman rule. Delchev was active during a period when the people in the region, regardless of their ethnic identity, shared a common struggle against Ottoman rule. Bulgarians, Macedonians, and other groups collaborated in various revolutionary organizations, including the Internal Macedonian Revolutionary Organization, to resist Ottoman oppression. 2. Cultural and Linguistic Affinities the cultural and linguistic ties between Bulgarians and Macedonians have historical roots. The Macedonian language shares similarities with Bulgarian, and the historical development of the region has involved interactions and shared cultural elements. This linguistic and cultural affinity contributes to the perception of common historical ties. 3. Post-Ottoman National Identities after the Ottoman Empire's decline, the process of nation-building in the Balkans led to the establishment of distinct national identities. While Macedonia developed its identity, some historical figures from the region, including Delchev, are also seen as part of the broader historical narrative in Bulgaria due to shared historical experiences. 4. Cultural Heritage Bulgaria has regarded certain historical figures associated with the struggle against Ottoman rule as part of its cultural heritage. Delchev, as a prominent revolutionary and intellectual, is sometimes celebrated in Bulgarian historical and cultural discourse alongside other figures who played a role in the liberation movement. 5. Complex historical interpretations. Historical interpretations in the region are complex and can be influenced by political and national considerations. Different perspectives on figures like Delchev exist within the historical narratives of both Macedonia and Bulgaria. Delchev primarily spoke and wrote in Bulgarian. During his time, the concept of a distinct Macedonian language with its own standardized form had not fully developed. The linguistic landscape in the region was complex, with people using various dialects and regional forms of the South Slavic languages. While Delchev identified as Macedonian and advocated for the autonomy of the Macedonian region, the linguistic and cultural ties between Macedonian and Bulgarian were strong. The Macedonian language, as a separate, standardized language, emerged later in the 20th century as part of the nation-building processes in the region. 
It's important to understand the historical context, the distinction between Macedonian and Bulgarian as separate languages with distinct standardized forms evolved after Delchev's time. Therefore, his linguistic activities and writings were within the broader linguistic and cultural context of the South Slavic languages, which included what is now considered Bulgarian. Yes, it's quite possible that Delchev, like many individuals in the region during his time, used Bulgarian for official communication and written correspondence while also speaking in the local dialect or regional variant of the South Slavic languages in daily life. The linguistic landscape in the Balkans during the late 19th and early 20th centuries was characterized by a rich variety of dialects and linguistic diversity. It is impossible to definitively predict how historical figures would identify themselves in contemporary contexts, especially given the complex and evolving nature of identity. Delchev lived during a time when the concept of a distinct Macedonian national identity was still evolving, and the political and cultural landscape of the region was significantly different from the present day. If Delchev were alive today, his identification might be influenced by a variety of factors, including changes in national boundaries, the establishment of the Republic of Macedonia, and the development of a distinct Macedonian identity. Given Delchev's emphasis on the autonomy of Macedonia and his inclusive vision that sought cooperation among people of different ethnic backgrounds in the region, he might have been supportive of the concept of a distinct Macedonian identity and the existence of the Republic of Macedonia.